Sean. All right, so now that we've got some uh, background code uh, made, we're ready to start coding our spaceship sprite. So our spaceship sprite is found down here. And the first thing that we do when almost every one of these sprites is we're going to think about what happens uh, when the game starts and what happens when the game ends. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start with an event. And that event is when the green flag is clicked. So we want to know, all right, so the green flag is clicked. What will happen? Well, we want our spaceship to show itself. So we're going to drag out a purple looks block that says show. Next, we want to think about what happens when the game ends. So when the game ends, we're going to go back to events, and we're going to come down to this block right here that says when I receive message one. Now, the when I receive message block is kind of a cool block. It works a lot like football works. So in football, when a quarterback uh, has a play that he wants to run, like a running play, he might call out something like 32 blast. That tells That play tells every single person on his team something to do whether it's run, whether it's carry the ball, whether it's block a linebacker. Uh, everyone knows what to do when they hear the, the play. And if the quarterback wants a different play, he wants the 78 split. Okay, that's a, a passing play, and he's going to uh, – it's going to tell every single player, like, to do something, like catch the ball or run this kind of route or block a certain way. Scratch kind of works the same way. We're going to have different plays that we call. We call them messages, okay? So when – when we make a message, we're going to make a message right here. Uh, and this message is going to be a message that's going to get called out about when the game is over. So what's going to happen here is the sprite is going to get a message. We're going to say new message right here. And that message is going to be called game over. And you're going to say OK. So we're going to say when the sprite gets the play game over, what should happen? Well, what should happen is that that spaceship should hide itself, kind of like it blew up and it went away. So we're going to say hide. So when the green flag is clicked, we'll show ourselves. And when the game over play is called, we're going to hide ourselves. Now there's a few other things that we're going to add to the beginning of our game when the green flag is clicked. Uh, the first thing that we're going to add is another event. Okay. So we just made an event that said, when I receive uh, game over, but now we're going to use this block right underneath it that says broadcast. This is how you call the play. So we're going to drag this uh, out here, and it is going to say broadcast message one. We're going to change that. Uh, I see game over. We want, to, we want to call game over. That's not the end of the game yet. So we're going to make a new message. So we're going to click on new message, and, and this message is going to be called hit, uh, kind of like hit an alien, like when you hit the alien. So this play called hit uh, will tell all the other sprites to do something. So when the green flag is clicked, show yourself and broadcast hit. Now we're going to go back to the variables block here because there's a few other things that we want to make sure that when the game starts, it's set. The first thing is that we want the score to be zero. And we have a block that says set score to zero. But I can see that the score block is a menu. So I'm going to actually use it again. And this time I'm going to change where it says set score to zero. I want to change that to be set, oops, you can't see it here, set speed. Okay, I want to set the speed of the game to start off. And the speed of the game should be two, okay? So it's gonna be two, that's our speed. So when the green flag is clicked, show yourself, broadcast hit to all the sprites, and then set the score to zero and set the speed to two. Okay, great. Next, we are going to, it's there in, uh, we are going to then start to broadcast, or excuse me, not to broadcast, then we're gonna start to code what happens uh, to get your sprite to move left and to move right. So we are going to add another block. Uh, let's go up to our events block. And we are going to find this second block right here that says when the space key is pressed. And you probably remember that key because we've used it before in some of the other um, activities that we've done in Scratch. We know that we can change space key to be something like right arrow and left arrow. So when I move left and when I move right, I'll push the right arrow and the left arrow. To get the spaceship to go left and right, I need a motion block. The motion blocks, the very first one says move 10 steps. So I'll use two of those like so. It says move 10 steps. And when I uh, do that on my keyboard, so I'll go ahead and push the arrows right now. There my ship moves. But every time, even when I push the left arrow, it moves too. That's a problem. And the reason that when I push left arrow, it still goes to the right is because 
this is a it's a coordinate plane and anything that's to the right is positive and anything that's to the left is negative so if i want to go to the left i have to choose negative 10 steps negative 10 steps so change your left arrow to be negative 10 change your right arrow to be positive 10 and then you should be able to move left and right with your uh, arrow keys. Now you can change these values if you want. Like if I made this 50, then my spaceship is going to move really fast. And if I made this something very small like negative 1, uh, then my spaceship is going to move super duper slow. Like really slow. Like this would be really hard to do. You can decide how many steps you want your spaceship to travel. This is a great way to make your game easier or harder, but I'm going to stick with 10 and negative 10. Now, the last thing I need is another variable. In my variables, I have to uh, use my set score to zero block again, but I'm going to change it. I want you to attach the set block uh, here and here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set another variable, and that variable is going to be the ship X, the last one there. Okay, so there's ship X and there's ship X. So this says when the right arrow is pushed, you move 10 steps and set the ship X to zero. Now that refers to this number right here, but we don't want ship X to be zero. We want this number to be this number. And the problem is, is that every time I push my arrow, this number here is changing. It's changing up or it's changing down. So it's constantly changing. And because of that, we need to have uh, a position, a block, a special block, and it's found up here in X motion that says whatever this is, make it there. So we're gonna scroll down and you're gonna find uh, on the bottom, there it is, the one of the bottom blue blocks, it actually has a circle oval X position. And that means that I can drag the X position block into the oval right here. Set ship X, that's our variable, to whatever this number is. And I wanna do the same thing down here. Set ship X to whatever that number is right there. Now, nothing really changes in the game, but I am able to uh, change this variable, and that will be important later on. And we'll talk about that in our next video.